What's up, mobile gamers? It's Drones or Gigs. I'm back with another video, and this one is going to be a little bit more relaxed. It's going to be a lot more chill. We're just going to kind of hang out a little bit because, all right, that kind of ruins what I was about to say. I was going to say that matchmaking has been pretty crazy lately, and they apparently have fixed it. So, as you can see, we have no bots, and that's not really a surprise, but you guys might know that I lost my last game. So if it was still on the past, like, patch notes or whatever, we would be having bots right now. And even though we lost the last, the last match, that's okay. Didn't give us bots. So that is a huge, huge change. I'm, I'm really glad they did it. I think it is going to be a good change in the long run, but I think it actually might make it a little bit more difficult for people to rank up, which is, I mean, that's all right, honestly. Um, but the biggest change I want to talk about is they changed the the true skill, I think is what they call it, the true skill matchmaking. So like your account has its own like overall skill level, right? And that is what determines what kind of a match you get into. So, all right, well, it's looking actually okay, because the reason I died was, obviously, I overextended into the Aletto while she was ulting, so, basically, free kill. But, it's looking, it doesn't look like it's, like, super easy, necessarily. Our drone got destroyed, here comes Aletta. She is pretty quick, for sure. Quick little kill on the Aletta. Who's that? Is that the... Alright, don't mess with my drone, boy. Going to jail. Anyway, so, like I was saying, one of the things I was really interested to see was how different the sort of the true skill matchmaking is. Let's grab this health before we die here. Yeah, we were, we were probably gonna die, so we needed that health. The true skill matchmaking is something I was kind of worried about because I would say like my skill goes up and down depending on the hero I use for sure and the way they kind of framed it is your overall account has like a, a skill level so if I jump into a game now this is my highest hero I think Sindri she's definitely up there if she's not the highest hero already but she's one of my highest heroes and this is the game we got and then next game we'll jump into a match queuing as Vincent, who's my lowest here, he's like a glory level 14. And I just want to show you guys the difference, if there is any. And I wanted it to be very transparent, so I haven't actually um, looked at the difference myself before making this video. So, we've got my unfiltered thoughts as the video is recording. So that's kind of what I wanted to do in this video, is talk about the state of the matchmaking in T3. Because I know a lot of people were worried, and a lot of the content creators couldn't find games. And what you see now, they switched to Sindri to counter me because I'm just that good. But what you see now is a lot of people are able to finally find games. Alright. But anyway, I think this game's a lot further than it usually is. At least comparatively, since they introduced the changes the first time, and then the second time being this time, is where they've basically, apparently, fixed the algorithm. And I think that they did a decent job so far. I'm not really fully sure. Like I said, we're gonna basically test all the ins and outs of it as much as we can here. And see what they would really changed to see if it actually is making a difference in the matches because I would say that basically what happened was my matches I'd be against decent players and we would lose by like one or two kills maybe and then what would happen would be after that I'd get a bot match because we either lost by one kill or won by one kill and then we would just keep going and this match is obviously there's a four kill difference which I quite honestly have not seen in any of my matches since those new changes. 
And I think she has a glitch right now. I don't think her ultimate's actually Triple out. Kill. Yeah. Because none of her shots actually landed. Your team is so, I don't know why it's doing that. I'm not- that must be a glitch, but... You see, we're six kills ahead. Seven kills ahead. Like, that is... Honestly, unprecedented since the new changes. And I would say uh, there, there wasn't a time where I was, you know, more than two kills ahead, even if we were doing really good and winning and stuff. So, hopefully my ult didn't activate. I think I accidentally clicked the button. And you can see that while it is semi-even, there's clearly a team that's a little bit on top. Like, if we're playing good, we're going to win a little bit easier. So, try to grab an Osos kill. And I was going to try to grab two, but the fort... I thought he was going to get this kill, so that was the plan, was he gets that kill, I get that kill. Doesn't look like that worked, but we're going to win anyway. So, it still has the timeout, right, where it's a super close game, and so it times out, and that's how you decide who wins, instead of just a steamroll match. So I wasn't really worried about that. I felt we were going to win. And then this is another thing I wanted to talk about. And you might have seen this in my last video just because that's when the changes were implemented. You now get 10 points regardless of your status as MVP. If you win a game, you get 10 points across the board. So I think that's really cool. Um, I do think they should have at least maybe you get one trophy for MVP or something. So yeah, so let's see. She's only... She's pretty hot. She's one of my highest for sure. Top four. And we're going to go with Vincent. I hate Vincent. He sucks. But we're going to jump into a match and see. And it's the same amount of time. So the queue time did say it was going to be longer. But it looks like it's just going to end up giving us players again. So I just wanted to show that to you guys to kind of see how they change the true skill matchmaking. So now that I'm playing Vincent, who I suck with. It's going to probably be a different game because it's expecting me to play on the level I played with as Sindri. And it's going to make it harder for people to play lower glory level heroes or heroes that they don't play very often. So let's say I have a challenge for Vincent. Well, it's going to be really difficult for me to get that challenge done because of the true skill matchmaking. However, there's no more bots and there's no more super close games where you have to drop a 20 bomb in order to even have a chance at winning. So... It seems like that's what's going on, and I would say that the changes are definitely better, especially for those higher level players who weren't even getting into games in the first place. But, I mean, honestly, Vincent's so garbage that we're probably going to lose just for me playing him. And I really like the change the most that they did with the glory points where you get, Three, you get 10 two, if you win, one, and I want to say it's like... Four or five when you done lose. Is a good job done. And so we'll we'll disguise here. So you have to be mindful of who you're disguised as when you're playing Vincent. All right. Well, so I I have auto fire off on Vincent, and that's one thing I wish they would fix is. It doesn't fire right away. When you hit the fire button, right, it fires the gun right away. But if you're using the sword, it does not fire right away. So... Very interesting. She's not coming over here. Alright, so we're going to do this. And go around. And I didn't expect her to have all those behind her there. But anyway, so you can see I've basically fed myself to the enemy team. And they're only up by two. So the true skill matchmaking definitely does come into play. And with the points after every match, it definitely it incentivizes getting the win. Okay, this is crazy. There's no way you see me. There's no way. Okay, here, we're going to get the kill real quick. Alright, we traded. Because I did not see her ult in time, but we still got her. And I don't know, it's it's going alright considering where we are playing Vincent. I would say that before, when it was trophy based, it would have been a lot more fair. And they would have been a lot um, more balanced as far as the teams go. Like, 
they'd be on lower level glory heroes the same way I am. But one thing I will say that is Sunday good is... is oh, really? How in the world? The, unless the Aletta's a bot. I don't think she is because I thought they... Oh, they're lagging. That's why. Okay, okay. Get sauced. Alright, so... As I was saying, I do think that the true skill matchmaking I would not normally be on board with, right? However, the reason they had to implement a different way Double of skill-based matchmaking is because they changed the, um... Ooh, are we dead? Yeah, we're dead. Um, they changed the way that the game functions as a whole because they implemented switching. So, if they didn't change the matchmaking, right? What you would see is I'd queue as Vincent, he's a low-level glory hero, and I'd get a bunch of guys who are low-level glory people, and then I'd switch to my best hero who's like a glory level 30 or something crazy, right? And I would just instantly be insane takes. at the game, and they'd have no chance of winning because they are just trying to play a hero that they've never played before, or, you know, maybe that they don't have any practice with. And that would cause them to then be like, oh my god, your switching mechanic is stupid. So I think that because of the switching mechanic, they had to change the way the game functions as a whole. Because if you're going to be allowed to switch heroes, then you can't matchmake based on glory level. Because that's not going to be an accurate representation of the skill level of the player. And so I think in that sense... Yep, yeah, so I, I suck with Vincent anyway because I never play him. But that's what I wanted to show you guys is if I would have switched heroes, right? I won't do that right now because we're probably just going to lose because they're going to kill me next time I pop out. But if I would have switched heroes, uh, we'd have a very good chance of winning this game. Yeah, No matter who I switched to just because Vincent's garbage. But now you'll see we lost. I didn't plan on losing. I just am not very good with Vincent, but... We'll see how much we get. We didn't get SVP. So we get... Four. I'm pretty sure it's across the board. I want to say MVP and SVP don't matter. However, it does give the incentive to win the match. Otherwise, you're not going to get anything good out of it. So losing a match is better now. You get more glory points. And then winning a match is... Still just as good if you would have gotten MVP. So before, what it was is it was you get MVP, you get plus two, and then you win and you get plus eight, right? And so you would either get one if you got SVP and lost, so you'd get one glory point, right? Or you'd go in here and you win with your best hero, blah, 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 and you would get eight, and if you get MVP, you get a plus two, which gives you ten. And so what they did was they changed it to ten across the board, and we'll jump into a match of spade while we keep talking about this. Probably... Cool, I wanted control. We don't really do control on the channel. Just because it seems like it's always gone whenever we play. Anyways. So, now you get more glory points for winning. Which is super, super cool. I love that. So, MVP, it doesn't necessarily matter if you get MVP. What matters is that you win. Right? And so it incentivizes more team play. Where before, if you wanted to get the glory points for your hero and rank them up quick, the idea was that you're going to be the best person on the team, you're going to carry the team, and you're going to get 16, 17 kills in a match, and that's how you're going to rank up the hero better. So you can see the longer queue time right now, and this is the transparency I was talking about, is a lot of YouTubers, they take out the queue times, right? And I don't want to do that, especially in a video like this. Maybe in some videos where it's like, oh, it's going to be a 30-minute video, so I'll take out the queue time. We're sitting at a minute, right? And that's pretty standard matchmaking time, especially, you know, I changed from We Lost and I changed to a better hero, right? Fade. But he's not one of my higher heroes. And so now, as the time gets longer the true skill matchmaking will get wider. So it will allow a larger base of players to be selected from. So as we go, it gives me people that are better than me and people that are worse than me on the spectrum. So a smaller queue time means that they're more close, they're closer to my skill level. 
And then as time progresses, they're going to be less on my skill level. So I'm going to keep this in the video because I want to see if we get bots. I really do. I want to see if we get bots. And once we hit like the three minute mark, I'll probably stop the queue and just talk to you guys. Because I don't want to sit here for three minutes and then play another game and then the video is 30 minutes long because that's crazy. But basically you get more glory points. They have the true skill matchmaking. They did change something with devices, which I'm not really sure what that is. So we're not really going to touch on that. But let's see. Yeah. So I think guess may or may not be a player. I'm honestly not sure. I'm very bad at spawning bots in general, but we're going to keep this in here because I wanted to show you guys the difference. So we lost that game, like straight up played our worst hero, lost the game by a lot of points, and unless Guest is a bot, we have no bots. We have maybe Guest is a bot. I'm pretty sure he is just because he didn't have any sort of different banner frames or anything like that. Let me know in the comments if these are bots. I honestly can't tell. I would say the Glory is definitely not a bot, and maybe... Maybe these guys are bots, because they have no skins, no banner frames of any kind. But they did have a different profile picture, and I thought it was profile picture that you could look at to see if they were bots or not. So, I could be wrong. Obviously, there's a chance I am wrong. Yeah, and they're, they just killed our whole team in, like... Not, not even... I mean, the Gloria must be a bot, I feel like. Look at the way she's moving around. I don't know. I think she's a bot, but they said they removed the bots. So, let me know what you guys think. Like, are these bots? Are they not bots? Um, I'm doing pretty good, so I want to say they're bots, just because I usually don't do this good against regular players as Fade, just because I don't play them, so... So they changed the matchmaking, and that's really, honestly, the whole point of this video is to show you guys that they made changes, they're listening to the community, even if this isn't necessarily what we wanted from them. You know, obviously there's a lot of people that don't like the changes in general. I would probably consider myself one of those people. I hate the switching mechanic, I think it's ridiculous. If you are allowed to counter everything I pick, then I should be able to quit, honestly. Like, that is my biggest pet peeve, is that there's no quitting in a match that I can basically be full-on countered over and over again. Like, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to play Johnny Jet unless I get, like, super good with him, you know what I mean? And that is my main problem with the switching mechanic. But I recognize that the matchmaking had to be changed in order for them to implement all those changes. So that's why I want to play Fade on Control, is because you can do that and take them off the point. And so now Double we kill. should get the point. Yeah, look at that. Bot Gloria. I'm pretty sure she's a bot. Just the way she moves makes me feel like she is. But the matchmaking is a, definitely a better. It's better. But I would say that the reason they had to make all these changes and potentially upset the community, right? They didn't do it just to upset us, but potentially upset the community. The reason is because of the switch mechanic. And I already said I don't like the switch mechanic. So we're going to take this real quick, even though we have a little, really low health. And so we should win this match, and then we'll call the video. We'll call it a day. But I want to show you guys the matchmaking, because I didn't like the switching mechanic. But I think that the changes they're making uh, are making good headway into the problems that have presented themselves. I think the glory points is a great idea. I think the true skill matchmaking definitely needs it needs changes. And I know a lot of people don't like bots, but I think that you should have bots for lower glory level heroes. Like where, maybe not where Fade is at, but definitely where Vincent's at. Like, he's only glory level 14. I suck with him. I get basically no rewards for ranking him up. So there's that kind of, oh, I want to try a new hero, but it's going to think that I'm super good at the game, so I'm going to have hard players, and it makes it harder to get good with that hero and learn that hero. And that's where my problem with this matchmaking system lies, is if they're allowed to switch, there's no incentive to play a hero that you're not good with. 
You know what I mean? Because then you're going to get your butt whooped and switch. And I don't think that that's healthy for the casual scene. I will say for ranked, it's fine. 5v5, it's fine. But for the casual scene, when I go into a game of control and I'm playing Vincent, I don't want to be matched with people that are glory level 34 with their heroes. I don't think that's fair. So I'm kind of on the fence, but I would say overall, I'm happy with the changes that they made to the matchmaking. It's definitely made it easier to make content. I have, I, I've been getting into games a lot faster now, even with the long control match that we just showed you guys. That was pretty tame for like the time it takes you to get into a match of people that have like the same skill level as you. So it's pretty good for a lot of content creators. A lot of people are happy they removed the bots. So let me know down in the comments. Are you happy with the changes? Do you think they should just revert everything? Revert all the switching, all the matchmaking, and make it only dependent on glory level because that's what we had before. And maybe you think that that worked better in general. And I myself am not a fan of switching, so I can totally see... I can see both sides because I think true skill is definitely the route to go. But I think it should be way looser and I think it should not be implemented into the lower glory levels. If I have a hero who's glory level 15, maybe that's when you start getting rid of it. But if I have a hero who I just got and they're glory level 1, I shouldn't be matched with somebody of my skill level because I'm not going to be able to learn the hero properly. So maybe the first 5 they take it out and you're only matched against bots or maybe people of the exact same glory level or something like that. I think that'd be a lot better for people that are just getting into the game who maybe don't have a good true skill rating yet. So that's my thoughts on it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of a long one, but I just wanted to be very transparent with you, show you all the queue times, show you different levels of heroes and where their glory's at and how it affects the matches you get put into because... I know for a lot of people, it's kind of hard to understand the ins and outs of this system. And I wanted to show it to you guys to the best of my ability. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And you guys have a good day. Peace out.